Hello everyone. So my name is Sandeep Vyad and today we are here again with a new problem which is remove all adjacent duplicates in string 2. So first we understand the problem and then we see how we can solve it. So the problem is we have given a string s and some integer k. A k duplicate removal consists of k adjacent and equal letters. So we can remove the k duplicate letter which are adjacent and after removing that what uh, the left and right part of that string we will concatenate together and we have to do this process until and unless we don't find more duplicates and whatever the string we get at the last we have to return it. In order to understand it let's take one example so that you can understand it more easily. Let's suppose this is one string and this is the k which is 3 right now if you see this e e e all these letters are adjacent and duplicates and its frequency is uh, equal equal to the k so we can basically remove this okay and after removing this the new string that we get is d d b b c c c b d a a okay now if you see closely these three c uh, are duplicates and adjacent to each other so we can remove it and after that we get one more uh, string which is d d b b and this b and then this d a a now you see closely this b is duplicate and adjacent we have to remove this and we get d d d a a now this is duplicate we have to remove this and at the end the remaining string is a a and which is duplicate but its frequency is not equal equal to the k that's why that is the string we get after this process and that is what we have to return okay now you can think or pause the video and try to solve this problem okay uh, you can think uh, in a way like how you can uh, first the first step is to find uh, the duplicates right and if the duplicates frequency is equal equal to the k the next step is remove that string so these are the two things we have to focus on so whenever you are trying to solve some problems like this first understand what are the things you have to do write that points and take one point at a time and uh, try to solve it whenever you try to solve problem try to break it it makes your problem easier for you to solve okay now let's understand how we can solve it okay so as you know uh, this string we have let's take one example a a b c c d a let's suppose this is one example i have and the value of k is equal to the 2 right now in that case we have to do the same process so what we do in order to solve it right maybe some people think of two pointer approach we create one pointer here we create one pointer here and some counter here and we'll uh, and we'll make it initialize it zero if it is equal uh, if i is equal equal to j then we will increase sorry it can be for one then we will increment it by two sorry one and then we will again go and we will check it with k if it is we can remove that part and uh, get this string and do this but this is uh, yeah we can solve it by this process but it makes our problem more complex right so the best way to solve these type of problems where we have to uh, basically remove things right here we can use stack okay because what we are doing we are pushing something and then pop uh, the unwanted strings we don't need let's go through the uh, whole approach so in this stack what we do we save two things okay what we save we stake the character and its frequency okay so how we can do this first of all we will iterate this and we will check if length of stack is empty right so the, the stack is empty what we do we will push a 
and the pointer and uh, and the frequency is one. Now we will iterate next. We will check whatever the element which is present at the top. If it is equal to that, then we will increment its frequency only. Right now we and after incrementing it, we also check if it is equal equal to the k. Yes, you can see this two is equal equal to the k. Then what we can do? We can remove this. Okay. Now my stack is empty. Now when we reach at b, we can find that our stack is empty. In that case, what we do? We simply push b and its frequency is one. Now let's move here. You can see this c is not equal to b. So what we do? We simply push c and then push its frequency as one. Now this c is equal equal to the c. In that case, we increment its frequency and check whether is whether it is equal to k. Yes, it is. So we will pop it out. Now d d is not equal to the b. In that case, we write d and its frequency is one. Now a a is not equal to d. In that case, we can simply say that a and its frequency is one. And now everything is done now what we can do in order to create our answer string we basically uh, iterate this stack whatever the element like b and its frequency that time we will repeat it so it is one so this is one time b this is one time d and this is one time a and at the end the answer is b d a that is how we are able to solve this problem okay i hope you get this let's see the code to understand it more so what we do if this uh, string length is one we simply return it other than that we take a stack if stack is empty or if the top of the element of the stack is not equal to the iterating element then we simply push it and its frequency is one other than that we will increment its frequency and we will check if it is equal equal to the k we will simply pop it up right and at the end we will iterate the stack and after iterating it what we do we simply this is the character we have and this is the frequency of the character that time we will create a character and add it to our string and that is how we are able to solve this problem i hope you understand this problem if this if it helps you please like share and comment and uh, thank you